every Friday because doing Viernes, it's also artsy craft today and today we are joined by Miss Carla Pachon, the owner of Craft Cart para turuan tayo ng rubber stamp carving. Magandang yes. umaga, Miss Carla. Good morning. Alright, ano po ba ang mga materials natin para sa ating rubber stamp carving? Yes, to make our own rubber stamps, you should have your own rubber blocks first. No? So, there are different kinds of rubber blocks. Mm -hmm. Meron tayong tinatawag na two-tone, so you can use two sides. And then, meron din tayong mga just ordinary blocks. Pero imported pa din siya. Wala dito sa Philippines. So, usually it's from Japan or Korea. And then, you have to have your pencil and tracing paper. So, dito mo ito drawing yung design mo. And then, you will transfer it on the rubber block. And then, later, we will use the carving tools. Um, there's a speedball brand. Iba-iba yung dulo niya. Different kinds of mm -hmm. nibs. So, merong mga maninipis. Merong mga malalapad. So, I'll show you later the different uses of those nibs. So, I'm also using a mat. Para hindi natin ma-scratch yung table. So first, you will transfer the design on the rubber block. So usually, kung saan tayo nag-drawing, yun yung i, uh, babalik tayo natin on the rubber block. So it's like this. And then, the edge of your carving tool, we can use it to rub the design so it can be transferred mm. on the rubber block. Mamark ka na siya dun sa rubber yes, block. So, uh, hindi naman kailangan sobrang diin but um, just make sure na you will be able to transfer all the lines para pag nag-carve tayo later, hindi siya, ay, may guide ka. So there. Oh, galing! So yan na, na-transfer na natin yung design on the block. So we will start carving already. Usually we start with the thinnest Mm -hmm. or smallest nib, yun yung number one. Okay, so I'll start and then later Sige, I'll teach try you. Ko yan. So it's always away from your body when you carve. Okay. Hindi siya pwedeng pa mm -hmm. Always palabas. So with this, I'll just follow the line. Usually yung rubber block yung inuurong ko. Mm, yun yung technique. Yeah. Parang and then you siya. just follow the line of your design. Just make sure na light lang, hindi naman kailangan sobrang diin. There. And then later, lilinisin pa natin siya. You want to try? I want to try, pero kinakabahan ako. <laughs> First time ko itong gagawin. So, so kailangan ganun. away from me, ano? Yan. Okay, there. <laughs> Paano yun? Dapat ba hindi sobrang diin? Yeah, not naman sobrang okay, diin. Okay, kasi yes. pwede mo siyang hilahin. Na stuck siya kapag yeah. sobrang diin. You can stop diin. naman anytime. There. Ah, oo nga. Dapat na so, just follow the lines. There. Kailangan ko pa ng more workshop. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Pero na-enjoy ko First timer siya. naman eh. So, it's usually, um, iba-ibang blocks. There are different kinds of um, blocks na merong malambot, merong mm. matigas. This one is just medium. Since sabi niyo kanina, um, sa ibang bansa to na bibili, they can order online na lang. Yes, ano? marami naman tayong craft uh, stores online. Um, you can order your ink pads, your rubber blocks, even the tools available siya. Mm, okay. So, after this, ma'am... Yeah, okay. So, kasi pag nalinis mo na siya, and then when you're done carving the outline, yung labas naman. So, it comes out like this. Ah, okay. So, na-carve ko na yung outline, and then lilinisin ko lang yung sides para maging embossed yung I see, uh, I see. design mo. Okay. Cute. And after that, ma'am... After ma that, we'll okay. test print it. Usually, you get your paper, flat lang siya on the table, and then we're usually stamping the other way around, di ba, pag ganon. Mm -hmm. But baliktad siya. The uh, stamp should be flat on the table, and then the, yung ink pad, yun yung idadap yun mo. Yun yung mo dun sa rubber. Stamp. Yeah, so oh, pag ganito siya. You'll see it naman eh, oh. you'll see the figure na, ay, mayroon na siyang ink lahat. So you're ready to stamp. You want to try? Sige. Pag stinamp mo siya, make sure you press all the mm -hmm. sides. No? Here. And then... Nice! Yeah. Nakikita ko to sa mga postcards. Yes. And also, ma'am, this can also be done sa mga fabrics natin, ano? Yes. So, or you can actually use different kinds of inks. Merong pang fabric, merong regular inks for paper, for stationery. And then you can also make your own gift tags for Christmas if you like. Oo nga, for souvenirs, actually, yes. pwede rin siya. If they want to have workshops with you, ma'am, how, how can they contact they you? They can contact me on my Facebook or Instagram. I'm always online. 
So usually a group of 10 people, I can do a private workshop mm -hmm. already. And you can also book a class for me when I have workshops. Usually every month naman meron akong workshop. Alright. So, ma'am, um, actually, paano kapag yung mga fabric naman yung gagamitin ko? Anong tamang ink yung kailangan? This one, gamitin? this one is, it says here naman, permanent waterproof. So, if you're buying ink pads, make sure you can ask, you ask if it's for fabric, for paper, mm -hmm. minsan pwede pang wood. So, different kinds of ink pads. Minsan, textile paint. Para sa mga shirts. Alright. Nakakatawa kasi ako meron akong white sneakers. So gusto ah, yes. kong, gusto actually... kong lagyan siya ng design para ma-personalize ko yun. Yeah. Tsaka yung mga eco bags na plain na yes. doon, pwede uh -huh. rin akong mag-carve. Although I think I need to have more workshop kasi <laughs> you can kailangan attend. ko ng technique para mag maging magaling pa sa pag-carve. Again, you can contact Craft Cards sa kanilang online pages. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsama sa amin ngayong umaga. Miss Carla Pasyon, ang owner ng Craft Cards. Thanks, Diane. Wag po kayong alas dahil magbabalik pa po ang Good Morning Pilipinas. Ako po si Kathy San Gabriel. Subscribe na sa PTV YouTube channel. I-click lang po ang subscribe button.